It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Birds and the 49ers coming up next. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the San Francisco 49ers. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, yeah, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for that. Thank you for the notice. Kicker Jake Moody's got it teed up, and we are underway now from Santa Clara. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama, then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts throwing right away. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 13 yards on the game's opening play. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's up. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside. And my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? They'll try and run here with Swift. taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory 12 yards is the pickup good for an eagle first down a couple of nice carries back to back here establishing the ground game a bit yeah these are bare bones runs now i mean they're getting substantial yardage the kind of yards you're looking for right let's go ahead and use a cliche stay ahead of the change right five more five or more yards each time that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going good sign on the opening drive On first and 10, it's Swift. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment.
Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Play action. Here's Hertz. And this is caught. It's Brown. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 31-yard line. Hertz connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing his hurts. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They go play action with Hertz. Being chased out left. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Oh, fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It had to be a nightmare as a ball carrier. You look up and see his big bear claws coming at you right away. No chance. <laughs> and just think how the game it continues to evolve. We always worried about the defensive ends and the outside linebackers bringing pressure. How about the play now? It's not just eating up blockers for these guys inside, is it? It's eating up blockers and making plays in the backfield. And just eating. So nothing doing there. And that'll make it third and 13. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job on the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well, so your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State, 
It's Brock Purdy. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 24. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down up near midfield, spotted at the 48. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Now the first pass of the afternoon is complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that's gonna bring up second down. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. The tackle made by Nicholas Morrow. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and 10. Again, they run again, it's McCaffrey. And he's gonna take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 31. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was another good run, and he's having an excellent day. And right now, I don't think his team could have any more confidence in handing him the football. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Back to throw, Purdy. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping to run uppercut. will take care of the end of this drive. And down inside the 15 he goes. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. And this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates. They're mixing the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. There's Purdy on first and 10. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Now the pressure gets 
gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. All about the offense so far in this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. So a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. The throwing here, Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And this one is right through. And that will tie us at 3 3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me. I know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? What was the return on? It was a backhand. I like a that. really good backhand. Get some nice top spin on the a little bit. bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost yeah. a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 35. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And a loose football. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Throwing there, but... 
but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. Here's Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift taking it in from seven yards away. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here. And they wind up punching this one into the end zone. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Oh, good move. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 55 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Completes it to Jennings. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Second 
Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. It's caught inside the 25. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 36 yards on the play. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Purdy looking to throw. Touchdown for the Oilers. George Kittle from 17 yards out. And the Niners are an extra point away from drawing level. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone short field but now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Moody good with the extra point and we are even at 10 apiece. So the drive there took six plays and it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. as the kicks away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. In motion, the tight end. Right back to Swift again on second down. Gets by him at the 25. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Hurts. And a quick throw here, that's complete. That he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. A short game that doesn't get on the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. This is brought in at the 21. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Now Purdy. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And yeah, he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. He scored their touchdown earlier, and this had a chance to be another. This secondary scrambling for answers, looking at each other, trying to figure out who is going to put the clamps on this guy because right now he's absolutely shredding them. 
So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. A handoff left, McCaffrey. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. From the 34-yard line, here's a second down and nine. Play action, now Purdy. And this one is incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Purdy now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. Now Purdy. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, McCaffrey. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, a five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have moved out in front. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes it a 17-10 score. there now to send this one away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Once again, it's Swift. And he might have gotten that yard back, and that's about it, as he'll take it only up to about the 20. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, an 80-yard touchdown. 
And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Elliott good with a PAT. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. the huddle come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line Purdy will set up to throw it here that's over the middle and caught by Ayuk and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down second quarter two minutes to go tie ball game we remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. well that certainly has to feel good. That's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Purdy sets up to throw again. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he's got this down to the 35. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Back to throw, Purdy. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be OK 
okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. But first down, Hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing his hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. The kick by Elliott is good, and that's going to tie things at 20. So they're able to make things level just before half and also leave very, very little time on the clock. And I love the way that you phrased that. Brought a little soccer into it, and that's really apropos considering they just kicked a field goal to tie things up. So still a little bit of time following the made field goal, but we are tied as the kick's away. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. 
One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard this fielded right at the goal line and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 the 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Play well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. The throwing here, Purdy. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And run 55 yards. And normally, when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Here's Purdy. And it's caught. Touchdown. George Kittle with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Moody good with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. 
Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. On oh, the option to give to Swift here. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. 61 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Right back to Swift again on second down, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Hurt sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Birds fumbles it. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And anytime he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and five. Purdy looking to throw. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. A second down throw for Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. 
And out now come the Eagles. And a fumble last time, ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the yeah. coach's address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Hurts to throw. That one complete down the field to Smith. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Devontae Smith, 51 yards. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And they just ran the fly route there, didn't they? You broke it down perfectly. He ends up catching that one and taking it all the way into the end zone. Well, thanks. It was pretty simple to break down, though. I mean, that's just a guy going, running on the go route, making a play. Speed kills. Speed. <laughs> speed. And what does it do? It kills. There you go. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at 27 all. Boy, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Ball on the 27. Here's second and six. Purdy now to throw. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. This now a third and four. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. On first down, Purdy. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. 
That's a normal situation too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always gonna be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Play action. Here's Hurts. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, man, that is just a flat miss. He's in the pocket. The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. On second down, Swift. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. How about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good, and they have regained the lead. So give them three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And this take it in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Purdy off the play fake. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. Now a second and two. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 88 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Out of the gun, Purdy. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Smith in motion right. And they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead, here's Swift. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So from the 22, here's second and two. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards to pick up, first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Quick slant to Brown. 
And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he's up to the 44-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing his hurts. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 35. Seven catches for him now in this last one, the first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They'll run right here with Swift. And he'll take this down to the 33. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Right back to Swift again on second down. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The Eagles on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. All the option to give to Swift here. A yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up for... And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that can win the game for us. Elliott good with a PAT, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at their 25 yard line they'll try and start this drive in the air taking a shot for Samuel and that is incomplete took a shot there on first down but he couldn't reel it in and they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances they've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens but this defense knows that all too well so the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Purdy. Throws the out loud and completes it to Samuel. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. McCaffrey running up the middle, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 43, here's the second down and six. The throwing here, Purdy. They'll find Ayuk open right side. Seven yards there at a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Gotta get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Shotgun now with Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 47 yards. And the Niners have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Moody good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you gotta give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just wanna get him to the promised land for every runner, 100 yards or more in a game. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. This is something you gotta be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. 
Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And his throw is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 39. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. inside the 15-yard line. 25 yards that time. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Swift going to try up the middle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Eagles are able to add on to that lead. And that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got a man, that's Ayuk. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time, all right? It's not like, you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. He's got Ayuk once again. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And Debo going to have a Niners first down as he's up to the 43. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 
always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. They come up now on second and two. Here's Purdy. This is Jennings. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Here's first down. Purdy to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Jalen Carter in there to take him down and the clock will roll. Exactly what they were looking for. They've been giving up yardage. They've been letting them drive right downfield, but they got a sack right there. How about that for a little bit of revenge? They'll come up now. This is second and long. Purdy's throw complete here to Ayu. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. All three timeouts still remain. Keep that in mind. They prefer to use them on the defensive end. But here's first and 10. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Here's second and a yard. Purdy to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. To throw is Purdy. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. So here we go. It's Jake Moody now in a big spot. This to get it back to a one-score game. And his kick here is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And the Eagles are going to recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. And that's why you have your hand steam out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Right, 
The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, oh, how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though.